all that tackle I just filled up in my boat all the way to the brink. <laughs> this is the best prank on my dad yet. <laughs> Stay tuned to Thursday for the actual reaction. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I got something really, really, really good for you guys today that I'm going to be showing. But as you guys can tell, it's freaking raining. Yeah. There you go. I actually got my mom filming with me today. Best, best videographer ever. So, this is what we're going to be doing today, guys. We're actually going to be going to boats. Well, there's a long story to go behind this. So, anyways, let me let me explain it to you in, like, a little, little frame right here. Anyways, as you guys know, I just got back from college literally a few minutes ago. I'm going to be going and dropping my boat off at my dad's work. Well, huh, I'm not just going to be dropping it off. We're going to be playing a prank on my dad. And by the time he sees this video, it's going to already happen to him. So, I don't even have to worry about that whole concept or side. I can just remotely say it. We're playing a prank on my dad, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. So, we're taking my boat to boat storage. He asked me if I could at least straighten up, or I told him that I was gonna straighten up all my fishing compartments and clean them because he's actually going fishing with one of his buddies in a few days, and my dad doesn't even fish. Note that all the OG people, you guys know, my dad's actually allergic to fish. He doesn't really even fish, but he is going fishing in a few days with one of his buddies, and I'm not gonna be able to go with him. Well, anyways, he was asking if the compartments could be cleaned, and I told him, I was like, all right, all right, man, I'm gonna be cleaning them. So he can just get in there, grab his fishing rods, or grab some of my rods, whatever, grab some fishing tackle, and be on with his day. So tomorrow, that's when he's gonna be grabbing some fishing tackle. So we're gonna be playing a prank on him. We're gonna be taking this boat to boat storage, and I am literally going to fill the compartments that I know he's going to open, which is the main hatch and the rod compartment. I'm going to be filling them up all the way with packs of baits. And then Thursday, which is gonna be the next video, I am going to be posting his reaction. I'm gonna go early in the morning before he gets to work, and I'm going to actually set up a hidden camera and get his reaction. It's gonna be crazy. Let's go ahead and get to extreme. I say so, that's when you go back. You gotta start in. Yeah, I'm doing right. So! That was way off. So! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so. Perfect. We just got to boat storage, you guys. As you can see behind you, that's the storage unit. And we have the boat out here. So it actually turned out being a, uh, li a little wet. So um, it's been super, it, as you can tell, I mean, guys, look outside. I mean, it's been raining. It's been raining a good, out, a good bit outside. And so we're trying to film this honestly fairly quick before the storm rains in. Uh, it's actually raining and hailing earlier. I couldn't even leave the house. But let's go ahead and hop into what I'm gonna be doing. So my dad is not here right now. He's actually at his other business. And I'm gonna be parking my boat in here, as I said, and he's gonna be coming to work tomorrow morning. I'm gonna show up early and hide some cameras and get his reaction of when I packed all this stuff in here. So I told him I'm gonna have the boat cleaned up for him. So when he comes and gets all his stuff, nothing's gonna happen. But this is what we're gonna do. As you can tell, I have two compartments right here. I have one which is right here. This is my rod and reel compartment. Two, this is my main compartment. These are the two that I know he's going to open because this one and this one, obviously he's gonna need a rod. This one's just gonna have 99.9% .9 of the baits that he's gonna need to go fishing. And that's what I'm gonna tell him. You know, all the baits are about in that middle compartment. That's what I'm gonna tell him to go do when he comes to the boat. So this is what I'm going to do. As you can tell when I open this, you know, it's not its not super dirty, it's not super organized, it's, it's, it's perfect, matter of fact. It's, it's, just, it's just right. It's not dirty, it's not clean, it's, it's just right. So I have a ton of baits, which I'm going to show you over there, that I am going to totally load this thing full. I'm gonna load this to probably about 500 packs of worms, to where they're literally bulging out the top, to, to where like, when he looks at it, we are going to have to get a reaction out of him. Moving on to this compartment, my simple rod compartment. I got a few rods in here, a few rod gloves, and that is it. I actually have some cardboard boxes that I am going to fill to the top right here so we literally don't have to put 5,000 packs of baits right here because that would hold a lot and I do not want to organize and clean all that up. So we're gonna line a cardboard box right here and fill them to the top so it looks like the whole thing is just patched full of baits. And this one we are gonna legit just fill all the way to the top. We're just gonna go, you know, ham on that one and just totally load it up. Let's get it started. As you guys can tell, these are all the baits right here. I'm going to be actually filming a video here very soon where I'm gonna go through literally all this tackle. I mean, all of it, everything. As you can tell down here, a bunch of soft plastics. 
As you can tell right here, we got some hard base, hard base boxes. We got a bunch of soft plastics right there. Those are trailers, um, Rage Tails, that whole deal. We got some lizards, creature baits right here. We got some drop shot worms and uh, finesse worms. We have some grubs and also curly tail worms. Then we got some more drop shot worms right here. And then we also have some more baits up there. So, and then also some clothing. And then 13 Fishing hooked me up that on some rods. But that, that's not for this video. So this is what we're gonna do. We're probably gonna get, I'm trying to debate because guys, all in all, once I pour these baits in there, it's gonna get so unorganized and it's just gonna be everywhere. And I'm pretty much, like the pranks on my dad, but honestly the pranks on myself because I'm the one that's gonna have to clean all this up. So honestly, it's, it's a really great idea. It's a really bad one actually. But we'll, we'll, we'll make it happen. So let's look at this one first. Oh. Oh yeah, this one's honestly, this is honestly perfect for it because this is a bunch of like, I say random stuff. Yeah, this is all random. Oh yeah, there's even some old brim hooks I used to use when I was about five years old in there. Smells. Yeah, it, yeah, it does smell. This is golly. I'll get the pranks on myself, honestly. Let's get these in the boot. All right guys, the bait compartment is the first one. As you can tell, get all these baits in this box right here. Oh man, this is honestly, this is just, this is crazy. I feel like this isn't even gonna take up like a quarter of the space and this is probably gonna be a bad idea. So as you can tell, we got a huge compartment right here. I have boxes. I really don't wanna put the cardboard boxes in here because I feel like this one, like, I'm just gonna let you guys know right now, my dad, crazy, I can just see him just freaking out over this. So I wanna make it look as realistic as it gets. I don't see him like digging in the rod compartment. If anything, he's probably gonna dig in this one. I mean, that's where the baits are going. So let's go ahead, I guess, don't do it. By the way, some cool videos coming soon of me cleaning out this boat. So stay tuned. Turn on post notifications right now. Right next to the subscribe button. If you aren't subscribed, be sure to click subscribe. All right, let's go ahead. Oh my God. Oh my God. You think we need more? Uh, hold on. I think if I spread them out. Oh, I got one more. But two more. I actually got two more. All right. Oh my god, okay. This is very balls, you know? All right, let's spread these out. Let's see, let's see what we're, I'm gonna get bait stuck everywhere. I'm probably never gonna get them back. I just feel like this is not enough. Oh uh, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. <laughs> Does that look dirty to you guys? Hey, if this looks dirty, if this is an example of a dirty boat, be sure to smash that like button. Please, guys, come on. Smash the like button on this bitch. This isn't even the good video, guys. I'm telling you, I just feel like his reaction is going to be priceless. So you guys have to stay tuned for Thursday. Today is Tuesday. You have to stay tuned for the next episode on Thursday. Stay tuned. Turn on post notifications. It's going to be great. So I'd say this is pretty complete. I'd say this is pretty good. You even got the swim baits kind of posing right there. I mean, it's just looking pretty. Pretty aesthetic if you ask me. I mean, it's looking pretty solid. Baits everywhere, it's obviously filled to the top. I can't fill it anymore because I do have to close this bad boy and it wouldn't work. Yeah, let's, uh, these smell so bad. I, I'm gonna throw that on the ground, on, honestly. Oh man. Never mind, they're right there. Before I got the baits for this box right here, we are going to figure out how we can lay these cardboard boxes in because there's no way I'm pouring triple the amount, maybe multiple the amount of what I just poured in. You guys. I'd be hiring you guys to come over here to help me clean this up if that's the case. You gotta have an equal balance, guys. Same level, so the cardboard box will lay flat. Oh, really? Oh my god. All right. We did it. That's perfect. That's perfect. Because if I'm assuming he's getting baits. All right, so guys, he has his own rods, all right? If, if I'm just thinking of how this would possibly go if he's going out here, he has his own rods. He's gonna use some of my rods as well, obviously, but he's gonna open the bait container first. He's just going to open the bait container first. So if he opens it and he literally sees baits everywhere and then he opens this, like, he knows his real life. Like, he knows I'm not just messing with him at that point. So if I load this to the top pretty good, this one's gonna honestly, this one, you think that one looks good? I think this one's gonna look crazy because that's like a deep, I mean, that's a compartment right there, and we're just gonna layer them at the top. Back to the baits. These are all organized like to the T guys. Like these are like the baits that I actually, like I use a lot. So these are the ones that are organized. Like, if I'm coming for something, I'm coming for drop shot worms. I'm obviously taking out this. I, I love how it is. It's been organized for years. I'm keeping it like that. I think I'm gonna get this one because I, don't, I really don't need too many baits. And this one looks pretty good for it. And I think this is just random stuff. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, I'd say that's pretty good, right? You got a bunch of lucky t or Livingston lures, fish hound lures. You got a lot of lures in the bottom. Let's see, let's see what this fills up. Then we'll substitute the rest. Oh 
Oh my gosh, that didn't even make a dent. I honestly couldn't imagine if we used anything else. We, we got to get more. All right. Yeah, there's baits in here. Almost forgot about that. Better not reach his hand in here. That's all I'm saying. By the way, that's chocolate wrapper for all you dirty people out there. So guys, I picked up two boxes. We got fishing maps. I think it's gonna be perfect. We don't need to have like all baits. We just need to have the boat packed and dirty as we can get it. We got some fish head spins. Ton of them. So let's go ahead and dump these first. Oh yeah. All right, then we, then we add a few maps. <laughs> My God, what am I doing? So the, the maps are gonna be good because pretty much around the edges you can see the cardboard box. As you can tell, like the edges, you see the cardboard box. You do not want to see that. So we're going to be stuffing maps kind of in the corners. These are all lake maps, if you guys are wondering. The Lake Lanier map has to go on top with some crankbaits and fish heads. I think we did it, guys. I, I truly believe that is it right there. Oh my God. He is going to freak out. Guys, tell me that doesn't look like a six foot deep of just crap. That, that, that looks way too good. <sighs> this is gonna be crazy, guys. I can't, all I gotta say, stay tuned Thursday for this video. As you guys can tell, we got all the tackle in the boat. This is unreal, guys. You cannot tell me that does not look just insane. Like, that is literally unreal. We have to get a reaction out of them. I'm gonna be doing that reaction video Thursday, so if you enjoyed this video and you cannot wait for Thursday's reaction, be sure to smash the like button. Thank you guys so much for the support. All the support you guys showed me in my videos, thank you guys so much. I thought this would just be a cool prank to pull on my dad because I just know like, honestly, if you told anyone to open this boat right now, they would freak out, but my dad, keep it on the low, he's got, he's got some anger issues. Some anger problems, so <laughs> he's gonna freak out. You guys have to watch Thursday. Literally, put it on your calendar. 11 a.m. Eastern time. Thursday is when it's coming out. Be sure to press that post notification post notification bell so it sends you a post notification. Be sure to like this video. Comment below what you want to see next, and also follow me on Instagram. I'll catch you guys in the next video.